What's up, Conroy? I'm Roy, your host. And welcome to Game Time, KTIG's game show. Today we will be playing Family Feud. Who will be victorious and who will receive the dreaded punishment? Stay tuned to find out. We interviewed a total of 166 students in order to determine the most popular answers for the given prompts. We will have three rounds, points double in the second and triple in the third round. Contestants, a word of warning, for you the answers are a bit abstract. Alright, the contestants are all set and ready to go, so let's go ahead and get started with our first round. The prompt is something that makes you upset. Oh, okay. Do okay. I answer? You get the answer. Okay, um, homework. Homework? Homework's not there. Alright, students, you wanna answer? <laughs> Do I buzz her first? No. Just go? <laughs> Alright. You don't have to. Test. Tests? Tests are not there either. All right, teachers can answer again. Dress code. Dress code? Nope. All right, students? Um. The answers are not about school. Okay. Oh. Well. Um. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, traffic. <laughs> traffic. It's probably a high school. Nope, <laughs> traffic <laughs> is not there. Um, ops. Ops? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? As my students say, ops. <laughs> That's what they say. There, there's no like, ops. <laughs> <laughs> right, wait, wait, come on, you got this. Victor? Uh, no money. Having no money. <laughs> Having no money. <laughs> no money? <laughs> uh, okay. We, we'll count that one as taxes. All right. Taxes? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> Students, students, do you want to play or pass? We'll play. We'll play. You'll play? Yeah. We'll play. Okay, we'll play. <laughs> All right. Next to person play. gets the answer. Alright. <laughs> work. Work? Is work there? Oh, there's no work there. Uh oh. Strike one. Um. God. Um. I don't know. <laughs> Come on, think. Uh, just high school students filled with these Okay, school. <laughs> cool. School's there. Wow. Oh, it's five only people. the last one, though. <laughs> only five. five I like Bills. Bills? Bills. Bills? Bills. No bills. No That's a strike. All right. You have one strike left. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> uh, all right. We have taxes. We have school. What's what's the next? Um, life. Life. <laughs> life is life there. Life is not there. Third strike, teachers right. get a chance to steal. All right, teachers? All right, we're gonna go with parents. Parents? Yes. No. <gasps> what? How is that not on there? Parents are not there. My parents still make me upset. <laughs> uh, students get 25 points. Oh, All right. Can we see the board? Yeah. Can we see the board? Yeah, I don't care. I don't even know. More water? More water? <laughs> Empty cup of coffee? This is ridiculous. Animal Just commercials? Oh my god. Losing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this was not. This, this, this is not. <laughs> All right. So, things that make people upset yes. is warm water as the top answer, <laughs> an empty it. cup of coffee, animal shelter commercials yeah. being talked over, like taxes. Losing, death, and then exactly. school. What do they know about taxes? You don't get to say that yet. All right. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're gonna take a quick per commercial break. We'll be right back. Hi, <laughs> Maria. 
¿Cómo te adoro? Solo pienso en ti y tu sonrisa. Tu sonrisa es como el sol y yo nunca te engañaré. Por favor, nunca me dejes solo. Nuestro amor es para siempre. Okay. If you want to send your special someone a message on KTIG, scan the QR code or click the link below. A 10 second spot will be $20 and we'll throw in a free treat to give to your Valentine. Sales will stop on Friday, so reserve your spot for a professionally filled message. All right, now that our contestants have had a quick little break, we can get into round two, where the points have been doubled. Okay, let's see what our prompt is. Name your favorite show when you were a kid. <laughs> All right. SpongeBob. Say that again. SpongeBob. SpongeBob. SpongeBob is the last one with 10 points. <laughs> All right. Students have a chance? Naruto. Naruto? Oh, it's not there. All right. <laughs> Teachers, play or steal? We're playing. You're playing? Yes. All right. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Teachers, teachers. Oh, wait, it's her turn. Okay. <laughs> um, Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana. I'm <gasps> cultured. That was a strike. Um, go with it. Rugrats? Rugrats? I don't know y'all played. Go. That's another strike. <laughs> Ed, Ed, and Eddie? Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Oh, that's three strikes. All right. Students have a chance to steal all 10 points. Regular show. Regular show? Yeah. Is regular show there? No. How is regular show Oh. Yikes. Ooh, Teachers point. get 10 points. 20. Epic. It's doubled. Oh, oh, it's already doubled. Oh, so yeah. that's the double, double score. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see what. what? Alright, let's start from number seven. Oh, that's Phineas and Ferb. Yeah, that's Makes sense. Oh, Scooby Doo. Yeah, that's... Teen, Teen Titans. Titans. That's the yeah, Fairly Odd Parents. That one was a good one. I watched that one as a kid. Curious George. Oh, Caillou. Caillou. And Bob the Builder. <laughs> How young were they? Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. Just <laughs> we, we sent this out to high school students. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Teachers have 10 points and students have 25. Wow, these are high scoring games. All right. That's it for round two. We'll be right back after we check out all the things going on here at CHS. The National High School and Junior College Mathematics Club, New Alpha Theta, the Math Honor Society, is now accepting applications for membership. Students eligible for Mu Alpha Theta must have completed at least four semesters of college preparatory math in high school. Algebra 1 and Geometry taken in junior high do not count. You must be a junior or senior, be enrolled in a college preparatory math course at the time of application, have all A's for each semester in every level math class in high school, and A's and B's for each semester in every pre-AP or AP math class in high school. If you have problems completing the application, please see Mr. Cleveland, room 1024, or Ms. Frost, room 1012. Do you have a significant other you want to shout out? KTIG is having a Valentine's Day special segment where students can give a special message to their significant other. The price for a 10 second message and a homemade Valentine's treat is $20. Sales will start February 6th to February 10th. Spots are limited, so make sure to get your spot now. Student Council is sponsoring a Share the Love food drive. You can bring any donations to room 1027 or sign up with one of your classes. All donations are due by February 14th. The National Honor Society will be having their monthly meeting on Wednesday, the 8th of February at 5 p.m. in the cafeteria. See everyone there. The CHS Leo Club is dedicated to helping students develop volunteering skills that enable them to give back to their communities at every opportunity. 
To learn more, please join us for a monthly meeting on Wednesday, February 8th at 2.45 in room 314 in the Annex. Snacks provided! Open to all students. Seniors, it's not too late! Come learn more about volunteering before you graduate. Build new skills to use in your next stage of life. Thursday, February 16th at 6.30pm in the gym, the Golden Girls will be performing all their contest routines. Tickets are $2 now, but $5 at the door. Scan the flyers in the hallway for tickets. They support so many sports here at CHS, so let's go support them as they start contest season. Students and families, we are going to Italy and Spain in summer 2024 and you're invited. Come hear all the details, including the itinerary, activities, academic opportunities, and the cost of our trip at our upcoming informational meeting on February 15th at 6pm in the LGI at the main campus. Lamar University is located in the Beaumont area, which is only about an hour and 45 minutes away from Conroe. Lamar offers both face-to-face -face and online programs, so there is something for everyone. With 53% of their student population being first-generation college students, they are known to help students throughout the college process. Degrees in arts and science, as well as education, are among the fastest-growing programs at the university. This Division I university offers a wide range of programs that meet a variety of needs for all students who attend. Okay, welcome back. It's now time to continue the game to round three. Points are tripled for this round. All right, what's the prompt? If you were stranded on an island, what is one thing you would want to have with you? Oh, wait, I, I don't remember his name. Okay. My phone. Your phone? No, <laughs> it's not there. Oh, what's the guy's name? Uh, Tom Hanks. That's the guy, right? Yes. Tom Hanks? No. Oh. <laughs> nope. It's not there. It's the ball. All right, students? Uh, a boat to leave? A boat to leave? Yep. Um, oh, do you, do you guys want to pass or do you want to play? Play. Play? Epic. All right. Who wants to go? <laughs> No, a fire. A fire. No, it's a first strike. A coconut. A coconut. <laughs> it's a second strike. Water. Water. <laughs> the triple strike. All right. Teachers, you have a chance to steal 45 points. Do you guys know what students would take on an island with them? A knife? A knife. Probably not. Oh, oh, a knife! Oh my god, 15! Wait, we're tied then. Wait, that means we win! Wait, no, no we win. Oh wait, yeah, we win this round. All right, so the win. teacher stole yes. uh, all of those points. All right. So eight was significant other, seven was house, <laughs> and then reading material, bed, toothbrush, and the number one, Ryan, Ryan Reynolds. Reynolds. How is that the number? I would take Ryan Reynolds with me on an island. I don't believe you. All right, so here are your results. The winner is teachers, and they have 115 points. And now it's time for our losers to face the dreaded punishment. The losers will have to eat D1 chip ch challenge. Oh boy. All right, all right, all right. Now we're doing the punishment because unfortunately the students lost and now you have to do the one chip challenge. Epic. All right, come in here guys. <laughs> you, you all have to take part of the chip. <gasps> <laughs> oh, oh, that oh, it is pure black. Oh. Oh, it's darkness. <laughs> we grab like a All right, grab part of the chip. <laughs> Everybody wishbone it. <laughs> Wait, how grab a corner of the chip, right, chip one, and three, break. One, two, three. Oh, Wait. I told you. <laughs> oh God, that did not work well. I told you. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with my piece. <laughs> yeah, you, are you good with y'all's pieces? <laughs> oh, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Do I gotta eat this one? Yeah. Yikes. All right. 
Okay, one by one. Mm. How does it feel? It's all right. It's all right? It's all right. All right, next. Spicy. Spicy? <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm That is not good flavor. <laughs> Honestly. It doesn't taste good? It does not taste mm -hmm. good. Yeah, do you, do you want more? I'm good. <laughs> I'm sure. You want, you, you want, you want, you want more? Yours, you all want yours, all yours. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Man's made for entertainment. Well, that's our game for today. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you enjoyed the show. Congrats again to our winners. <laughs> Make sure to stay tuned to KTIG's YouTube channel for another episode of Game Time coming soon. And don't forget to eat chess. Winning is great, but the most important thing is to learn a lesson every time you lose. <laughs>